want to talk to you about a book. When I was younger, I used to love reading and I really loved this author. His name is Roald Dahl. He's a British author and he has really famous works like, you know, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, The Witches, Matilda. These are his big works. But he also has a book which is an autobiography and it's called Going Solo. This is not one of his popular books, but I remember reading it and I remember there is a chapter that was really interesting for me. So I want to read for you a really tiny bit from this chapter. The name of the chapter is Palestine and Syria. This book was published in 1986, but it was written in 1940. So Roald Dahl comes to a place or a country called Palestine and he meets a man there and he starts talking to him. I'm going to read for you their conversation. The man that Roald Dahl sees there, he says, you seem surprised to find us here. And Roald Dahl says, I am. I wasn't expecting to find anyone. Then the man says, we are everywhere. We are all over the country. And then Roald Dahl says, forgive me, but I don't understand. Who do you mean by we? And then the man says, Jewish refugees. And then Roald Dahl asks, is this your land? And then the man says, not yet. And then Roald Dahl says, you mean you're hoping to buy it? And then the man looked at me in silence for a while. Then he said, the land is now owned by a Palestinian farmer, but he has given us permission to live here. He has also allowed us some fields so that we can grow our own food. So then Roald Dahl says, so where do you go from here? You and all the other refugees. And then the man said, we don't go anywhere, smiling. We stay here. Then Roald Dahl says, then you will all become Palestinians. Or maybe you already are. Maybe you already became Palestinians. Then the man smiled again and said, no, I don't think we will ever be Palestinians. Then Roald Dahl says, then what will you do? The man says, you are a young man who is flying airplanes and I don't expect you to understand our problems. Then Roald Dahl says, what problems? He said, we need a country of our own. Even the Zulus have Zululand, but we have nothing. And then Roald Dahl says, you mean the Jews have no country? Then the man says, that's exactly what I mean. And it's time we have one. Then Roald Dahl says, but how in the world are you going to get yourselves a country? They're all occupied. The man says, if you want something badly enough and you need something badly enough, you can always get it. You can always find a way. So this is just a small excerpt from this book that was written in 1940. This is a children's book. I'm not gonna go into any more detail, but I think it's really important that we all think about what this means.